Running barefoot, two miles each way to school, was a joy to little Margaret. She took her shoe off because she could run faster barefoot. She was never afraid of snakes and wild hogs because she could outrun them. She would often tell us that she never got wet in the rain because she outran the raindrops. These are the stories we grew up with. Margaret, born May 1st or May 2nd, depending on which midwife to believe, in 1932 was the third child of Sarah Mitchell McKenzie and John Wesley Bush. Sarah was raised by her grandparents, John and Sarah Moss McKenzie, as one of their children. Her adventurous mother, Ruth, had traveled to Florida and then to New York to make a better life. Ruth left her little girl with her parents, who were descendants of Blackfeet Indians, Caucasians, and African Americans. Sarah met and married John Wesley, or Wesley as most people called him. Wesley was a hardworking young man in the lumber business with his brothers known as the Bush Boys. The Bush Boys, William, Noel, Roosevelt, and Wesley were to be feared by most people in Hardyville and Pewsburg. Margaret and her eight siblings, Alberta, Raddy, Blanche, Johnny, Walter, Juanita, Haskell, Ruth, and Francis were raised on a farm with everyone having chores to plant and harvest the crops, raise the chickens, sell eggs, milk the cows, and feed the hogs. Tragically, their beloved mother, Sarah, died suddenly in 1943 when Margaret was 11 years old. Grandma Ruth came back from New York and tried to take all eight children back with her. Blanche, Haskell, Juanita, and Ruth agreed to go, but Margaret, Johnny, Walter, and Francis stayed in South Carolina. Francis, a newborn, was adopted by their Uncle Roosevelt and Aunt Julia Bush. Margaret said she would stay, cook, and take care of her daddy and brothers. Tragedy struck again when Wesley Bush was killed in an accident in 1946 and left Margaret, Johnny, and Walter alone on the farm in the country. Their Uncle William and Aunt Hattie Bush took Margaret and Johnny into their home to be raised with their 12 children. Walter went to live with Aunt Maud Williams. Uncle William and Hattie lived in the city of Hardyville and operated a very prosperous lumber company. Their children, Teresa, Sonella, Johnny May, Charles, James, Addie, Annie, Willie, and William Bush Jr., Jr. Boy, provided a warm, loving home for Margaret. She learned to cook meals for large groups and take care of many younger children. All the stories she would tell of her many sisters and brothers, that would take a book. Margaret enjoyed learning how to sew in home economics and cooking. She would watch the airplanes fly overhead and wish she could join the WACs, the Women Army Corps, and become a pilot. But the segregated school system was not encouraging her to be anything but a domestic. About 1948 or 49, along came a dashing young man, William Bo Primus. He was the only man in town with the car and he was interested in Margaret. She was not interested and avoided him, but her sister cousins pushed her up to date him so he could take them all to the movies. So Margaret agreed to date him and before she knew it, he was asking Uncle William for her hand in marriage. They were married in 1950, and Bo bought his new wife to live with his family that included 12 children. Her new in-laws included William, Eunice Primus, Catherine, Julius, Vincent, Rudolph, Nora, Wilhelmina, Thomas, Johnny Mae, James, Claritha, and Patricia. Margaret devoted her life to building a happy home in Hardyville with the addition of William Jr., Veronica Dale, People. and her mind was a steel trap. But she, she never forgot anything as and the she manager could turn for a baseball into team. For the little Richards in captain. New York was dangled in front of them, and Bo and Margaret went to New York to start a new life while Big Mama, Eunice, kept the three children. In 1963, the whole family migrated to Brooklyn, New York. There, the little musician, Maurice Lowell, was born. He was a performer from the crib, always the star of the show. Sadly, Bo passed away in 1971. Margaret relocated back to Hardyville because all of the children had been educated and were making a life for themselves. In 1973, she and Solomon Williams produced a beautiful daughter, Jada Lamar Capistrano Daniels Williams. 
Jada grew to become the special child adored by both parents and her older siblings. Margaret never learned to drive, but she has traveled all over the U.S. and the world, especially in Germany and other European countries. She was the ultimate backseat driver. Margaret could tell you how to get somewhere, wherever you were going, and narrate all the history of sites along the way. Margaret was the first GPS. She has sailed on many cruises with her beloved Asnat, Pearl, and family. She worked as a domestic candy maker, seamstress, crochet expert, mentor by cousin Blanche Kinlaw, daycare provider, and community liaison for Save the Children. Margaret became the designated babysitter, cook, and natural healer for many people over the years. She committed her time to many community causes, especially as a volunteer she was raised with Head Start. in Armoke Baptist Church. Margaret loved then joined her Fisher's Chapel and especially you and me with children. her husband, and later she became pushed a faithful everyone member to stay of St. Stephen's and finish church. college. Under the leadership she would of Reverend visit Thomas cousins and Clary. in college and St. St. Stephen's give them a few dollars. church in Hartyville. She was very instrumental in forming task. Vanessa Johnson, advocacy, Margaret and served on the pulpit, pastors and the network for stars, missionary society. serious teens, and she adults. She attended the Potter's Christian Life Center. She was a visiting Columbia, partner, pastored by Reverend Gregory Formy. Margaret preceded in death by William Bow Primus, daughter Linda Primus, Solomon Williams, and many of her sisters and brothers leaves many relatives and friends to cherish her memory, including children. William Buggy Primus, Jr., Veronica Dale Primus, Morris Lowell Primus, Deborah, Jada Lamar, Capistrano, Williams, Daniel, and grandson, Christopher Lydell Primus, who was considered as her son. Grandchildren, Todd, Anton Primus, Janakia Thomas, Brett Evian Thomas, Sage Codrington Thomas, Matthew Vaughn Thomas, Dominique Primus, Justin Primus, Jalen Primus, Zavon and Zakira Daniel, Great Grands, Jalea, Alani, Anara, Michaela, John, Cyrus, Eviana, Leilani, Aaliyah, Cornelius, Zaire, Chloe, Colby, Cairo, Jackson, Tarion, Marlon, Zoe, Tyler, great great grandkids, Milani, Nile, Gabriella, Marie. Her living siblings and in-laws include Francis Brownlee, Johnny Mae Dobson, Addie Jones, William Jr. Boy Bush, Jr., Johnny Mae Castro, Carlithia, and Joe Teller.